myself? Were you sleeping or were you not? Yes, I was sleeping. Well, hello there, young lady. I caught one of the traitors stealing. Hey, just wanted to say, no hard feelings, all right? Whoa, whoa, you were in on this? Yeah, pretty much, but it's not what you think. I mean, it's, it's just I didn't really have any choice in the matter. You lied to me. I know, and I'm sorry, but if you ever cared about anyone, you'd do the same thing. I don't have any family. Living family. I lost them when Coulter and his gang took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it. Or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just... Sorry you had to get caught up in all this. Did you ever fail to bring someone in? Never. Couldn't afford to. Used to be me and another guy they'd send out. He thought he'd try and escape while he was out there. They found him. Made him watch as they tortured and killed two of our own. Then they sent him through the gauntlet themselves. After that, the choice was obvious. Like I said, sorry you got caught up in all this. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Word is, super mutants just hit the place. Just working hard. Trying to rebuild, like always. With the easy pickings. If there's anything left, how good is this source of yours? It's good, Shane. I don't bring you bullshit. Hey there, boss. You really... I'd bring my kids here someday. But not for all these raiders. You see that crazy robot dressed like a bottle? Hey, boss. I gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. I'm not planning to give anyone nightmares. Thank goodness. I'll sleep a lot better having you in charge. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job. Keeping all these raiders in line. I wasn't really looking to become the overboss of Nuka World, but I might as well enjoy the benefits of my position. Makes sense to me. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? Not today. No problem. I think we ought to talk. Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh, no, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? So, who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth. Authentic Institute handiwork. But I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. That's terrible. They really just 
threw you away? Sure did. It was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. And it's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. This place really makes me want a new Coca-Cola. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are worth that. It's not fun unless you're up to this Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke, so she didn't want to me. That last one died too fast. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we pushed in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. 
I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay. Let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right woman for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. Watch yourself, boss, because we sure will. Girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greenie Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as she doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Nisha. She's in charge. <laughs> Don't look like much to me. You want to talk? Talk to Nisha. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. And what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was. I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... Alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with us, you'll soon find out. Just don't slack off when it comes to actually doing your job. We got Coulter Nukatown, and suddenly he forgot the big picture. We both know how that turned out. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean up the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. Hey. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. Never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. 
I once knew a man with an attitude like that. I let him live just long enough to regret it. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. If you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. I told those freaks to stick to their camp. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're with the prisoners. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Jet pretty hard. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Can you talk to Got a chase if you want to catch. Said we ain't allowed to kill any of them. So tell me, did you have to wait in a long line to see me? No. I walked right up there. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. Do you need help finding your place here? No. No, I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can't. Hey. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck's a resume? Whatever, don't matter. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be over, boss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Your people aren't gonna cause me any problems, are they? The pack does what I tell them. You don't get in my way, they won't get in yours. Pack? Fitting. You smell like animals. Ah, never heard that one before. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. Well, we thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He's laying in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the Disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that, got us together, and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Ain't nothing I ain't already told you. I trust we're done with the history lesson? Yeah, boss. Just trying to fill you in on why we're all so pissed off. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack? I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Trust me, it definitely won't come to that. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. If you can take something, it's yours. 
Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Just don't screw this up. Nathan's been waiting for you. I thought about trying my hand in the gauntlet just to see if I can do it. You can head on in. Sorry, Mags. All anyone's turned up so far is that she's got that pit boy on her arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? What were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're... An unknown quantity, and we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Taking down an opponent like that, it's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So... You're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best.
that's it. Use of deadly force is in progress. Citizens are advised to leave the fugitive is attempting to evade capture. Beginning pursuit.
not that with me. You will be identified and sanctioned. Join us on a journey into the future, where humanity has set up Arcturus Prime, a Commencing frontier top in the United States. Justice will be administered swiftly and... Please stand clear. This it right there. in 
progress. Citizens are advised to clear uh. the area. information or to sign up for <laughs> Welcome to the Robco Battle Zone.
Identified intruder detected. Ladies and Beginning gentlemen, search. Are you ready for incredible action? Are you ready for thrilling battle? Are you ready to see the latest robots fight it out this in the area. ultimate? Then it's time for the Robco Battle Zone! Now entering the ring, Robco's Galactrons. With their cutting edge laser technology, watch as the Galactrons make short work of these iBots. Do not attempt to flee. Oh, this will be. What a show! Can anything challenge the Galactron? Get ready to find out! It's... Time for a head-to-head -head matchup with the mighty Novatron! Distance. No quarter. Running elimination subroutines. Resetting threat level. Intruder, identify yourself. And now, the fight you've all been waiting for. The ultimate in high-end robotic engineering. The one. The only Rob Co Space Sentry. Threat analysis. Surprise contact. Engaging. Hostile target. Alert. Hostiles in the <laughs> area. Class combat robot. Death is inevitable. Uh, 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 
and gentlemen, are you ready for incredible action? Are you ready for thrilling battle? Area secure. Are you ready to see the latest robots fight it out in the ultimate showcase? Then it's time for the Robco Battle Zone! Now entering the ring, Robco's Galactrons. With their cutting-edge laser technology, watch as the Galactrons make short work of these high bombs. Please stand clear. This is now a free fire zone. Hello. Beginning lethal force neutralization operation. Intruder, I can deny yourself. Order will be restored soon. Please. What a show! Can anything challenge the Galactron? Get ready to find out. It's time for a head-to-head -head matchup with the mighty Novatron. Hostile has gone dark. An I hostile target identified. Warning, dangerous fugitive is on the loose. Do not attempt to apprehend. State-of-the-art Novatron! Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. And now, the fight you've all... All been waiting for. The ultimate in high-end robotic engineering. The one, the only. Robco Space Sentry!
Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for incredible action? Are you ready for thrilling battle? Ah! Are you ah! ready to see the latest robots fight it out in the ultimate showcase? Then it's time. I failed. Target identified. Yes. Citizens, please. Now entering the ring. Robco's Galactrons with their cutting edge laser technology. Regularly study your Vault Tech provided materials to prepare for survival. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special?